All right, dudes and dudettes, I hope you sure did enjoy that live stream. Uh, it's pretty cool, guys. So I actually had to go ahead and move this to my personal server that I have here in my room in my server rack. Um, yeah, so I had to move the world to the server, host it there, and then be able to join on it so I could get my camera account on. It's a uh, it's a crazy process, but hey, we got time lapses now, so I hope you guys did enjoy that. I spent a lot of time on these two guys, believe it or not. The most difficult part was actually um, going back and forth because you think you need every, you think you have everything to build this, and then you're like, oh crap, I don't have that one thing. You come back and you build a whole bunch more, and you're like, oh crap, I don't have that one thing, and that one thing takes a while to build, so it just takes a while. But yeah, so I went ahead, built the iron and gold versions of this guy here. Uh, I didn't make them as grandiose as the uranium just because uranium's green. And I'm, I'm green when I don't have my cool helmet on, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> this is cool. Um, yeah, so we got, we got some stuff to do today, guys. Uh, now that the time lapse is over, we're going to get this far departed. And as you can see from my inventory, I've got a whole lot of these upgrades. Yes, so... Oh man, the the episode where where this guy exploded that was quite eventful, you know. That was a a roller coaster of emotions, so to say. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So yeah, uh, we fixed the issue that we were having. We are producing so much power now. We don't have any room for it really. And so we're not gonna. Well, in order to like maximize everything we need, we're gonna need at least one more of these guys running. And I don't want to do that today because we did upgrade our fissile fuel and we got it all looking good. I actually ended up flipping that around after the video to make the front look better. I used it in the thumbnail and I ended up covering this guy uh, and closing it in. I think it looks really cool in there. I do like the look of the lights up at the top kind of glowing down. Uh, but yeah, and then also went ahead. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I did upgrade the production here. I'm pretty sure we went over this. Uh, we have three chemical oxidizers going into our boy up here. Uh, it's actually, we've hit the, the limit, so this is perfect, making as much fissile fuel as we can. Uh, the limit I am worried about, though, is if we come over here, yeah, this is our uranium. Our uranium is suffering. Um, that's our, like, only limit when it comes to um, producing stuff. But look at this, we got 111,000... HDPE sheets. This is all 100% self-contained. Just getting fed by the uh, the potatoes up here. The taters are growing precious. You know what I mean? Very cool, huh? All right, guys. So uh, for the rest of the episode, we're going to go ahead and start work on our gold farm. It is in our list over here. Um, yeah, so about this list, uh, I just want to talk to you guys about it while we go ahead. And we're going to be killing some zombie pigmen or whatever they're called now. Uh, we have this feature called Capturing 2. If you look at the bottom of our sword there with all of our enchants, uh, that will give us a spawn egg. So if we look here, uh, zombie piglin, where are you at? Hey, zombified piglin, I think this is it, yeah. So the Capturing Enchantment gives the mon gives monsters a chance to drop their spawn egg, uh, like a 0.4% chance. So we have it here, so it's a 0.8% chance. So we're going to go ahead and I'll talk to you guys about all the different things in here. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get a time lapse of that uh, the capturing of the Pikmin. It's very fun. Plans. We need to set up a gold farm, set up the Enderman farm, set up the pink slime farm. We're going to set up a separate mob farm to go ahead and just make pink slime. Uh, we're going to automate uh, control circuits. Um, these are extremely have been extremely requested. Uh, these are the control. Wait a second. Control circuit. Yeah, these guys here. These uh, basic ones. So we're gonna we're gonna have to find a way to optimize this. So yeah, um, and I think I I think I do have a way to do that with uh, like redstone repeaters and stuff like that. It's gonna be cool. We're gonna end up putting it um, not here. That's gonna be a processing room. I think over here our auto crafting room is gonna be over here. Uh, so off camera, I'm going to go ahead and expand this out here. Probably do a time lapse of it now because we do have the ability to do that. And uh, we'll make this our, our auto crafting room. And those that, that will be in there. That's one that I, I'm i I'm actually testing out. So after that, uh, we'll kill the Ender Dragon. That is something we actually haven't done yet, believe it or not. Um, we need to finish the setup of all the other versions of this guy. Uh, that's a high priority. Uh, I want to get all the, the fission fission reactors going, these guys here. 
I want to get all four of these guys running constantly, so we might have to have like three or four quarries going at one time, or digital miners. And then over here, uh, I want to get a fusion reactor, reactor created. This was the whole purpose of us making that duradium and the, the green and red stuff that we made a long, long time ago. Uh, tritium and durudium, those guys. Um, that's what the those were for, for the fusion reactor. Um, set up the second fissile fuel guy, the second one of these, to go ahead and do that. So the thing is, we need our uranium to go up. And I don't know a way of getting more uranium other than the digital miners. And the problem is the digital miners only go out 32 blocks each direction. So they need to be moved quite a bit. And I'm almost thinking, you know, if, if we can get a, a quarry mod going, you know what I mean? Might might be worth it just for that. I might have to add an extra mod. Um, and then I want to get a golden carrot farm set up. So that means we're going to need to make a separate gold farm. Uh, we're going to need to get our carrots... We need to get our carrots crafting up here. Uh, or not crafting, but growing up here. Actually, I think they're already growing, but they're stuck. And then uh, I want to do a, a villager trading setup somewhere within here. Uh, might be in the basement somewhere because in this room, we are going to expand out in each direction here. Uh, these are going to go down about five to ten blocks. Uh, so it'll be like a grand hallway that kind of swoops down and goes into another room. Uh, that's going to be like that in each corner here, so we'll, we do have extra room for stuff. Uh, I also want to go ahead and finish the walls in this room. Now, I just I just have them kind of marked up where we're going to have the room here, and I did leave a bunch of room back here for some maybe some uglier setups that we don't want to show anyone or something like that because we don't have the, the compacting machines, which is unfortunate. But this has been a really talky episode, guys. Oof, I'm so sorry. We need to We need to spruce some things up here, you know what I mean? All right, guys, so I hope you did enjoy that little time lapse. Went ahead and built something off camera here. This is going to be our mob farm. You know how we are with our mob farms. They got to look cool as heck. So, yeah, this is going to be our mob farm here. I was experimenting with some elevators uh, that didn't really seem to work. So now all we have is just this one. I know it says gold farm, but we're actually going to be putting a blaze spawner in here as well to get some blaze rods. But, yeah, <clears throat> this is the room. This is where we're going to have all the storage. It's going to be over here on this wall. Uh, I need to find a way to make this look good because, yeah, <clears throat> it's going to look like this. So we might just actually just do that. We might put a little bit of spots on the outside, but this is how it's going to look. Uh, we're going to put our mob crusher over here. So we're going to have to go ahead and craft that up right now. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, if my voice kind of goes in and out. I've been having some sinus stuff everything's blooming and plus they were doing yard work a couple days ago and ever since they did yard work at my neighbor's house that just went <sniffs> so anyway <clears throat> mob crusher here um let's have a look advanced machine frame uh, if you do remember we should yes okay oh man this is gonna be great if this works <laughs> it worked awesome so we can go ahead and make it here uh yes we should have everything to make the mob crusher we sure do that is so cool however the thing i didn't upgrade was the, the actual upgrades for this guy so i will need to go back and kind of fix that so um <clears throat> let's see here oh my goodness that breaks things so stinking fast okay so that should be facing here. Perfect. If we show the working area, this is it. Okay, this is definitely ain't going to work. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So we need to go one, two, three, four. So I think we just need four upgrades. Uh, we're going to go back here to the spawn base. Type in some upgrades. Oh, my gosh. Can I type? Oh, my gosh. Upgrad. Uh, that's not it. I think it's range. Yes. All right, so we're going to try the tier four, guys. So, oh, okay. Uh, that's just four iron ingots. <clears throat> uh, we got uh, two of these. And we got uh, two of these. Perfection. It is beautiful. I love it. All right, so if we come here like this, we can go ahead and automate it, but we're not going to automate it till we set up our auto crafting room in the new base. <clears throat> okay, so that has been done. <clears throat> Ronge. Ronge. Okay, so if we go here, back to the gold farm. Hey, did not set it. Uh-oh. 
Oh, that's not chunk loaded, is it? Yeah, that's gonna cause some issues. Gonna need to chunk load that guy. Now it's loaded, perfect. Alrighty. So, if we, yep, it's still showing. If we do like this. Ha ha, yes, you boys done it. <coughs> I did the math. Not meth, math, I promise. Maybe. It's debatable, okay? You can't prove anything. All right, so yeah, look at that. You don't even you don't even know it's here. We come up like this. With oh ow, I bonked ow, I bonked my head. Ow. We go up here like so. Look at that. I mean, <clears throat> um, it's a little obvious, but other than that, it's not obvious. You know, you know what I mean. Okay, so we're going to need to get some power over here to this guy, and we're lazy. That's not it. We're lazy. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna need some power cables. Um, these are, yeah, we're just gonna use these guys. Perfect, because we kind of have a heck ton of them. I collected all the cables from our previous endeavors. Don't worry about what that just meant. Just wink, just, just let it happen. I mean, I collected it from our thingy. Just let it happen. I mean, I collected it from our windmills. Just let it happen. Okay. There we go. It is a working. All right, so there's a chance we might need to set up actual two of these. So this one, uh, I'm going to run power to. Um, yeah, we might as well just set it up to have two. Because when we have all the blazes and all the pigment, it's just, it's going to, it's going to get crazy. Gonna get crazy. Up in here, up in here. Okay. <clears throat> Ignoring the fact that uh, I shouldn't have been doodling, doodaloo in the zoo. All right, so we're gonna have one here. We're gonna have one there. Um, let's go ahead and get the second one of these crafting up. Yes, perfect. Okay, and then Ford now, we're going to have cobblestone kind of going around. Um, we're not going to place that in until later. Having issues with words. You know, I did do this stair climber tonight in the gym, and I'm not going to say they're related, but I, I can't think ever since I did that. So what I'm saying is don't do the stair climber. It's it's not good for your body. Just kidding. Um Compacting drawers. We're gonna need this for the gold. <coughs> um, let us see. Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna go. Ahead. Oh, we're gonna need a drawer controller as well. I did forget about that. Um, perfect. Okay. So let's get this drawer controller installed here. Open here. I'm oh, sorry. I said it again. Oh, baby. Um, let me in. All right, perfect. So this is the active one here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and throw the drawer controller. Actually, I think the best fit for it would be right here. All right, there we go. Okay, essence. Don't have to worry about that. Um, push. Okay, these are all set to disabled. This one is set to push. Uh, this is set for items. We can go like this. So that's set to pull the items out of here and push them into the things. All right. Now, I don't think we need that many, but we're going to have that many, okay? <clears throat> oh, wait. Um, how are we 
going to get, because we need to have an external storage on this guy. Okay, so there's a slot on the, I should have really designed this room before the rest of it. Um, I, I do like the look of this. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just lock everything attached. Not sure why that didn't lock. And then we will throw gold here. So gold has been that thinged. Um, the farm is technically, when we start having guys pop through, it's ready for it. That's a good sign. Okay, so I built a little cobblestone cave for our, our guys here. Uh, and the way we're gonna have it is we're gonna have a space of three down here. Uh, the first spawner is gonna be here. We're gonna take a, yep, there we go. Switched it up. Okay. Zombie, switched it up. Wait a second. Hold up, I switched that to a zombified pigman. All right, so I had to go ahead and switch it over to creative to go ahead and get two extra of the things and I had to shift right click it. Uh, now it says error, but I did just have a few pigmen spawn in. Uh, so my heart attack is saved that we had just wasted all of this time for nothing. And I will actually be putting the blaze spawner here. Um, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this off. Now there should be some upgrades. Yep, you hear them? they just spawned in, perfect. Um, let's see. Okay, so here we have all the different upgrades. Um, so it says decreases maximum spawn delay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get some acceleration upgrades here. I heard the blazes, perfect. I hear them in there. Uh, maybe shoulda waited. Um, okay, so we do have some liquid essence here. Gonna go ahead and put the rotten flesh here. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's take these speed upgrades here. We're gonna throw these on the spawn, the the uh, pigment spawners first. We're not gonna put them on the blaze spawner. I'm not crazy. I think. All right. All right, so we maxed that one out. Uh-oh. Time to leave the area. Max Speedo uh, Liggins. Away! All right, so we should be good now. Next time, I'm just gonna go ahead and fight him. Gonna punch him. Um, let's go ahead and throw these in there. Okay. So we've got the spawn delay stuff taken care of. All right, what's next? All right, spawn delay, that means they can go very fast. Uh, so we need these runes here, perfect. Now we did do a video on this a couple, like several episodes ago, but uh, we're just gonna kind of ignore it. Uh, rune, how do we get you? How do we get you? Runestone. Do I have any? Oh, I do! I don't even have some of these. Okay. 
Let's get these smelting up then. All right, these are smelting. Head on back. All right, so I assume this is the bottleneck here. It's detecting how many entities are in the area and not allowing any more to spawn. Uh, so I assume once we throw this, these guys in, yeah, it's gonna start spawning in a little crazy, hopefully. Time to go. All right, blazes. Oh my gosh, did that light up something? It might have. Well, time to kill. Um, yep. Nope, we're Gucci. No one shot anything? It's good. All right. So those have been maxed out. Okay. Um, spawn count. Ender air bottle. Okay. So this is our next goal. We're going to have to go to the end for it. Uh, spawn delay. How are we supposed to get the barrier? Dark matter from... Uh, yeah, anchor. We're going to throw three anchor upgrades into here so it'll continue to run when we're not in the area. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we need to go to the original base. All right, diamonds. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and crush these bad boys. Okay, we made those. What else do we make? Uh, obviously, this is what we want, clearly. Uh, spawn range. No, we don't want that one. Again, barrier ignores the spawn conditions. Um, changes entity. Yeah, the egg. Vert's behavior of modifiers held in opposite hand. No thanks. Redstone. Hmm. Silk touch. Okay, so there's nothing really important there. The next thing we want is the ender air, and the only way to get that is by going to the end. Uh, but let's go ahead and get these upgrades. That's not chunk loaded again. Get these upgrades in here. All right, so we have the three anchor upgrades for each spawner. Okay, there we go. Let's move on here to the other side. All right, we should be far enough away now. Let's get on back to the gold farm. It's not chunk loaded anymore. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and turn back the, the boots down or the pants down. There we go. And let's have a look sees. All right, blaze rods. Can you go here? You can. We're gonna put the blaze rods here. Uh, rotten flesh. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more of these guys. Uh, so this should continue to run. I actually need to go back to the home base. We need to chunk load the anchor there. Uh, so we need one more diamond crushed up. Okay. So we will be expanding that base up very, very high in the sky. Uh, what do we do with the swords? Do we have like a trash can or something? Um, I'm not sure what to do. Um, this is a tough one. 
I did think of a way that we can go ahead and fix the uh, cable issue. I will do. I will wire the cables up off camera. Let's go ahead, get this thing chunk loaded. I'll just talk to you guys what I plan on doing for it. Uh, let's just go to the base here. All right, anchor, perfect. Um, we're gonna move this out by one. We're gonna put this down to the bottom. We're gonna run two cables. One's gonna be the item pipes coming down here. One's gonna be the energy cables behind. And then we can run the, um, the external storage through there. And then for the uh, golden swords, we're going to split the cables off into a dispenser. And we're just gonna shoot those into lava. Uh, so I will do that off camera. That way nothing gets overloaded. Uh, we also got chicken. We're going we're gonna to have the chicken stuff in there as well. Uh, but I'm also going to get some speed upgrades. I'm going to get four of these guys going. They're each going to be pumped into this guy over here. Uh, but I'll do that off camera because that's some pretty grindy work. But guys, this has been Super Turtle. We did a lot today. We set up the extra two times five processing stuff. Uh, we also set up our gold farm, as you can hear above. But I will see you all in the next video. Please make sure that you stay tuned for it. Uh, guys, I'm pretty tired. I'm sorry. This video has taken all week to record, so I hope you like it. Anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye-bye.